Hello and welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson, and I've been struggling with Aptasia in my tank. Now, Aptasia are little tiny anemones. They're also known as glass anemones. They reproduce quickly in our tanks, and they sting corals. So they sting corals, they look ugly, they need to go. Now there are quite a few ways to get rid of Aptasia. You can use vinegar, you can use Aptasia X, you can use a calc waltzer mix. There are predators that'll go after them, like copper pan butterflies, some file fish will go after them. There are some nudibranchs you can buy, but they all have their own problems. So I decided to try one of the more unique methods to get rid of these guys, and I went with a laser. The laser I purchased is a one watt laser. I purchased it off eBay and it comes in this nice metal kit. It's actually a pretty nice little case it comes in. So you get the laser itself, which is a one watt laser and it's heavy metal construction. It actually feels really nice in the hand. And most important thing with this laser is you can twist this and that actually adjusts the beam. When I was looking for a laser and adjustable focusable beam, was key for me because I really want to put as much energy as possible on the Aptasia. You also get your battery charger, the batteries come with it. Supposedly these are like e-cigarette batteries so they should be available everywhere. You get the power adapter if you live in whatever country takes that. You get safety glasses. These safety glasses are a must. Even when you're not shining it in your eye, it's just crazy bright to look at. You're going to want to wear those at all times when using this laser. And then you also get a bunch of filters that you can put on the end of your laser to make interesting shapes all over the room. And here's a look at one of those filters now. I've taken this thing out at night and lit up all the trees in my backyard. It looks really cool. And if you go out at night and run into Darth Vader, you can tell him that's not a lightsaber. This is a lightsaber. If you shine the laser at a piece of cardboard, and adjust the beam in. Cardboard starts smoking immediately. This thing is crazy powerful. What we all really want to see though is what will this thing do to an anemone? And the initial results are pretty incredible. When you get this thing focused in and you focus it on the anemone, it pulls in and it starts to burn. You can hear, hear this thing crackle through the glass. It's crazy. Now, one thing that I found with this laser is you really need to leave it on the anemone for two or three minutes, which gets pretty old if you're sitting there holding it. The other thing is, if you can see, my fish are pretty dumb and like to look at it. Now, this thing hurts my eyes, so I gotta imagine it's bad on the fish's eyes too. I mean, you need to see these guys. They're staring right at it. So that's one of my big concerns with this laser. The other thing is it takes a lot of time that you're gonna have to sit and shine the laser at the anemone. One of the other issues is when you have Aptasia deep within a coral, like these Paleothoas that you're looking at. The anemone gets burned, it pulls in, and then you can't really hit it with the laser and you start blasting the piece of coral behind it, which isn't really what you wanna do. So then you move on to the next one and it pulls in and it's not real effective because you really can't get the time on the anemone that you really need to really kill the thing. All that being said, the initial results, the anemones appear to be devastating. They put out this like stringy stuff. They look incredibly unhealthy. They look incredibly pissed off. These guys have been hurt really bad. Problem is, they're not dead. They can come back from this. Believe it or not, most of these anemones a couple days later were back to their former strength and I had to blast them again and again and again and they keep coming back from this sort of devastation. It's amazing how tough these Aptasia are and this is why Aptasia has such a bad reputation in this hobby. This laser is not a sniper rifle for Aptasia. It takes a lot of time to burn those little anemones. The other thing is it's fairly expensive for what it does. This laser was about $70. Now, for the same price, they did some, have some higher powered ones that don't have the focusable beam. I personally believe that the focusable beam is more important. So if you can find a two, three watt laser with a focusable beam, you might be better off. You might have better results. So 
at least with my situation, I would give this thing like a 4 out of 10. It kills Aptasia if you work hard on it and you have the right conditions. If the Aptasia is too far away, like more than a foot, it really isn't very effective at all. So everything in the back of my tank is really hard to get with this laser and that's a problem. So I don't really recommend it. Now there are some stuff I'd like to try. I'd like to put the laser on my tripod and just blast one of the little Aptasias. Have it sit there, have it burn the Aptasia without moving, and have it do it for like three or four minutes. Now three or four minutes is about how long you're going to get the full power out of the batteries and then you're charging. So kind of inefficient from a time perspective. You're going to burn it, change batteries, burn it, change batteries. So that's an issue. The other thing is I'd like to pair this with some peppermint shrimp. I think you do some major damage to some Aptasia before the light goes out. I bet you the peppermint shrimp are all over those things trying to eat them up. That might make the difference in whether peppermint shrimp want to eat your Aptasia or not. Just a theory, I'd love to try it. So anyways, I bought this laser with some of the money I made off my YouTube channel. So that's what I do when I get money from YouTube. I buy stupid stuff. I bought the laser. It's where my purple tank came from, those two purple tile fish I had a while back. That's where those came from. So if you like what I do and you want to support what I do, hit the like button, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you on the next episode of Mile High Reefers.